Okay, so now we want to go over using Mini 2 and using single shot mode with it. Maybe using Mini 2 compared to other series like Pop and Range, using the single shot mode, you actually don't have to think about it as much. For instance, you don't need to adjust the scanning distance because it's already very close, so you don't need to be worrying about things behind that you could be capturing. But there are some things you want to keep in mind still. So let's go over that. Just start right here, switch it over to single shot mode. I have the depth camera on not on auto right now, so manual. You can't really see it in the home screen, so let's just crank that up. Ow. Up to 10. Also, base removal. Maybe that's something I suggest. You can at least click that on base removal so it's not gonna pick up anything below. And just remember, like in previous videos, you wanna capture at least 30% of the previous point cloud. So for example, I'll take a shot. If I turn it a full quarter turn, it's not gonna pick it up. Notice what happens. Alignment error, because it's too far. So with single shot mode, just gradually adjust whatever item you're scanning. So let's cancel that one and start over. But another nice feature, I wanna bring this out to you. So now it's telling me how many frames I have. I'm at three. Now if I would suddenly turn it a little too far, and of point clouds, you can just click back. Go back to the previous third frame right here. And you can just start over, which is cool. So go back to this area and you can continue scanning. You don't have to just delete how far you've just come. All right, and there we go. So that's 360 around. Let's complete it and just see how it turned out. And we're just gonna look at the point clouds captured. We're not gonna process it. We're not gonna fill holes or do any of that, but yeah, pretty nice. Capture the point clouds well. So again, just keep in mind single shot mode, switch it to single shot, maybe base removal. Make sure that your depth camera is right. Things to keep in mind too, that if you do mess up a frame, you can have the option to go back in that frame. That's easy enough, so you don't have to start over. And just make sure you capture at least 30% of the previous point clouds. Don't do big quarter turns like that. Small turns to capture everything. <laughs> 